Hi there, I'm Dr. Disrespect and I can perform a 40 foot vertical standing leap and I'm here to show you the most ignorant deck that Historic has to offer. Okay, so we're here to bring you not only one of the most ignorant, but only ignorant if you're good at the game decks and Historic. The other best thing about this is that you realistically don't need to invest a lot of money into Historic to be able to play this Historic deck. Yeah. Which is something that we want to make a point of because we cannot afford to play Historic properly. To get all the cards in Historic, we need to be investing about £400 or something, which we don't have. So if you have £400 that you don't want, give it to us. But in the meantime, we'll bring you Historic decks where you only need commons and uncommons in addition to the standard cards in order to play it. I was just going to gloss over you begging for money to play Historic there. Didn't beg, I just merely suggested. Okay, okay. okay. Like I don't respect it. This is me begging. We need... £400 to play Historic, and only you can provide it with. Okay, so what does this deck do? Well, it plays um, kind of like nothing in Standard currently. Um, it's like a hand control deck, but you've also got like a little bit of aggro and an amazing removal suite to just cover basically all your bases. Yeah, so it's, it's got all these little synergies and things that all play together to just give you ludicrous value. The core of it is Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Priest of the Forgotten Gods kicks ass. We all know this. It does stupid shit when you play it right. Um, and when you combine it with things like Young Pyromancer to give you unlimited sacrifices, uh, sacrificing Crocs a while playing it, just beautiful. Um, stuff like your Stature Supply is great as well. You lure us to basically fuel it infinitely. Um, and it's all, all you need. Essentially, it's like a weird combination of hand control, self mill, incredible value plays. You'll notice that we don't play a single board wipe, and that might be relevant sometimes, but you just, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter because the deck's actually insane. So there's a lot of cool interactions, right? Such as, because the deck also kind of is based around Dreadhold Arcanist interactions as well. So you're fueling the grave up with cheap things. Dreadhold Arcanist can cast Shock from Grave, can cast Village Rites from Grave and can cast Duress from Grave. Now, we might we need to talk about this a second. We're playing Duress because I don't want to invest any of these wild cards into Thoughtseize. And really, I've not really cared that I've not had Thoughtseize. It's great and it will make the deck even better, but you don't need it. The deck's already, like, super OP. This is... Basically, Historic has some cards that really just break what was this expanded standard metagame? Yeah. And this is one of these decks that just takes full advantage of it. We shit like Wild Pyromancer and a Braid and Claim all out into this deck. It just becomes so fucking powerful. Its engine is a powerhouse that annihilates your opponent's hand over and over and over again. We've came up against ludicrous endgame control decks and just been like, hey, my deck somehow generates more fucking value <laughs> and I'm a fucking shitty aggro mid midranger deck. <laughs> so you've also got another cool thing, like so many of your bases are covered, you need a little bit more life gain, Meyer Triad can do it, you've got incidental removal, but th the other cool thing as well, so Claim to Fame, this card is so fucking good, and it interacts with basically every card in the deck, so as an example, you can use Claim to Fame to give, to bring back Priest and for 3 mana you can give it haste, so if you've got 2 guys and need like a Priest removal type effect, then this can do it for 3 mana. Claim can bring back Dreadhold Darkness, give it haste, and then and then you can claim again off the Dreadhold Darkness. You can uh, play Dire Tactics off the Dreadhold Darkness. You can cast a Braid. Or, or get this, you play Claim to get Croxa back, to get them to discard a card, and then, oh, Crocs is going to sack itself. Just might use a Village Rites or, or a Priest. priest. Now, in best of three, this deck will really, really massively shine, because then you can play it like... You can play your board wipes, you can also play things like uh, Claim the Firstborn, so against like those kind of matchups, Village Rites plus Claim becomes insane, go Dreadhold Darkness, cast Claim, but this is currently built for best of one. Now your biggest issue is dealing with Planeswalkers, really what you're trying to do is just get them out of their hand before they get a chance to hit the board. Yeah. Um, it was very, very hard to incorporate, like... Your, your most efficient way of dealing with cards is before they hit the board, try and do it as much as humanly possible. Absolutely. Get all them threats away before they even become threats. So then when it comes to dealing with Planeswalkers, really, you just get rid of everything else they're dealing with and then just spam some Croxes onto the board. Not only this, late game, you can end up putting in a ton of damage into your opponent by going, like, 
use priest, deal three, attack with crocs at deal three, or sack it, or just spam this out. Like, crocs, crocs a plus claim is six damage in an empty hand. So just bear these kind of things in mind. It is some brown brick nonsense. Uh, one thing I should warn you about this deck, the more you play it, the worse a person you become. <laughs> um, I've felt myself over the last two hours or so that we spent playing this deck hate people more and more <laughs> and just want to hurt them. It's... Uh. So just bear that in mind. But if you're looking to have some serious fun in Historic, just a little bit of mix-up in Standard, because ultimately we can really only focus on Standard, but... If a historic deck comes along that we can play for like budget in terms of being commons and uncommons in a standard card pool, we're absolutely going to play it. And we highly recommend this deck because we've had a blast and it's such a mix up from playing standard normally. So yeah. we completely, completely recommend it. And this is an amazing show to work with. So go nuts. Have fun. Hey, so if you enjoyed this video, I just want to remind you that maybe you should uh, give us a little like and subscribe. That'd be amazing and really help me out. If you have any suggestions for future videos that I can make, then by all means, leave them in the comments. Or if there's any changes to the deck list that you've just seen, then again, leave them in the comments because I'd like to hear them. And again, that helps me out. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter if you like magic memes and want to keep up to date with the things that we're doing. And also follow us on Twitch where you can watch videos like this happen live and also be in them, kind of. And most importantly, please, just enjoy the video. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Let's just get on with things. But that is a solid hand. It's a absolutely brown solid. brick solid hand. <laughs> I want to make my house in Minecraft out of that hand. <laughs> oh, another duress. Oh, he's, he played a green light. He doesn't have a target in hand. Oh, he does. Collect his confidence. <laughs> oh, fuck you. He is playing elves, though. It would be amazing if these were thought seizures. I'm not going to lie. That's fine. Uh, I think we play the priest. Get priest go in the young pyromancer into village rights next turn, maybe? Mm. Or some such nonsense? Something just, along the lines of that. Maybe just a uh, young pyromancer into duress or something. IDK. Yeah. Young pyromancer's involved, I know that much. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's basically my take on the Rakdos pyro deck, for sure. Oh, okay, nice. Put blasting coffee breath at you over here. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not, not really getting a particular whiff. Uh, right, so pff, Young Pyromancer Duress, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, I mean, it's still knowledge. <laughs> knowledge of impending doom, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the deck is pretty good. Um, the point is, we're not using Thought Seizes, though, which is a massive detriment. <laughs> What's this do? Uh, oh, okay, that's pretty good. Well, uh, that's that's fine. Yeah, okay, no blocks. We need our stuff for seconds. This is dire tactics. That's pretty decent. So we could Crocs her uh, and then do the cool uh, thing. Because Magic Fat Man, we don't have them, and... Um, Tony doesn't want to spend our wild cards before the new set comes out. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, I love this play. It's so cool. It's very noise. It's very noise. It is very schnoish. Sack that and that. And then we've got a human, so we can dire tactics one of these things. Yeah, absolutely. Do the thing. And then we can... Oh, it's even, it's even better. Glimpsed him, fat man. I was no wee bit of a hurry. So then we go... Dire Tactics kill this. I think. Yeah. Elvish Visionary doesn't do anything. Then we get a Sack Fodder for this Village Rights. Yep. Might as well use that Black Mana. And then exactly. get a new 1-1. One, one. Yeah, we had a wee look at the spoilers. Right, so I think that this whole the party mechanic sucks. I think it sucks. What's the party mechanic? Uh, things get reduced in price or have extra effects if you have like a, a rogue cleric warrior or wizard. Oh, okay, so it's like D&D &D kind of thing. Yeah, yeah it's, sure. like a, it's a straight one for one D&D &D type thing. Uh, the, it's a terrible mechanic, but it'll be fun and uh, like limited. Sure, sure. Right, what does this do? If fun limited stuff's a requirement for us. Oh shit, this needs, this needs dealt with. Uh, whenever another elf, this gets bigger. Right. Um, hmm. I'd block the visionary with a 1 1 token. Yeah? Fuck him, get elves off his board. Elves are how he wins. That is true, elves are how he wins. 
and we can, we've got an amount of mana that we can generate. So we can abrade this. Yeah. Is that correct? Who was it? Uh, was it's it? Allosaurus Shepherd. In fact, no, I think we abrade this. The flip yeah. basics are cool, for sure. Hit Marwin. Marwin? Yeah. Okay. It's the only thing these boards is really going to be like. Huge. So then, do we duress? Yeah. Okay. One one mana, like one we, mana we create. Yeah. Our one flow. Oh! oh my god! I was well prepared. No, don't do this just now. Oh okay. In fact, you can because you can just play another priest. Hell yeah. Do it. Wait, what do you mean play another priest? Oh sure, yeah. Like yeah. Mana, you get off it. You get draw more cards. Wow, that was. That was fucking bullying. <laughs> I was I was happy to swap one card and one mana for a one one on board for yeah. the for the priest sack, but to actually pull an ass out of the hand with it is fucking insane. We have won this game. Yeah, so I feel that everything has felt fair fairly. Boom. Everything's felt fairly meh in terms of the spoilers. Um, expeditions coming back, full art's cool, but that's not the main thing, you know. Uh, what what else though? Um, I like the flat basics. Those are very cool. There's a mono black mythic guy that is actually legitimately really good. Oh, we've so got this guy. He's deader than flares. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. Yeah. Okay, so and play play Croxa. Do the and thing again. Village rates Croxa. Ah, correct. And we want to see more spells off it. Okay. That gets that last pesky card out of his hand as well. Does indeed. God, that's some synergy. I love this so much. The whole deck feels fucking incredible to play. It really, really does. And it's not even unfair either. Are you sure? <laughs> Feels it to me, man. I've absolutely no idea. Oh, Jesus. Um, I think we still just sack a priest in a token, though, right? Um. Yeah. I don't know if we do. I think we just hold up. Nah, nah, nah. nah Death will sack a priest in token. Yeah, and then we can play this if we need to. Okay, sure, sure. Getting rid of any one yeah, of these to, is to good. To be fair, getting the Arcanist is worth dropping a priest. Uh, do we know how they're being reprinted? Are they are they like a box topper type thing, or is it like one in every X, or what? Like what's like the deal with them? So we can create a an elf. Yep. Well, he can't currently. No, because he has no mana. Do we swing him? Yeah. He's never gonna take that, is he? If he does, then he has literally nothing and he's playing completely off top decks against this. Thanks for the follow, the Fuman Knight. Big appreciate. Thanks, bruh. <sighs> um, I think we can do probably cool stuff with Dread Horde. Cool stuff indeed. Um, I think Dragon Skull is a better one to go for. Uh, so I guess we play Croxa. I guess. Sure. Why not? At this point, it's just advance our board state and win. Our opponent may not be aware of this, but he has lost already. They can't be pulled from basic packs. It has to be collector's boosters. Wow, so the right is just collector's boosters. Those Noted. collector's boosters are going to fetch quite a fucking premium. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, so now That's we funny. swing in with this. I'm going to have to dissolve some of my, collection, my collector's boosters. Hmm. What do we do here? Um, whatever. Uh, what what have we got on the board? Uh, we do don't, don't really do want to. Nah. No, we don't. Okay, so uh, just... So, oh, you can't submit zero. You have to do one. Oh, no, so you pick one and then you decline it. Yeah, so, decline. Yeah. Okay, sure. Oh, Jordan's got a question. Jordan, what's your question? Takes the one. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> Tony, Jordan asks, what is magic? 
So, right. When a mummy and a daddy love each other very much, etc. I like to just call it wizard chess. I, I mean, that's how it's presented, isn't it? Right, can, are we able to, like, if only we were drawing spells instead of lands. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's fine, just say about Macroxon. Yeah, uh, I guess we can add. Oh, wait, we yeah. can add Lewis and cast Lewis. Very nice. Busted. Um. I guess just decline, yeah. I mean, uh, it when you're draw. having to decline free discards because your opponent just can't like maintain a hand. Yeah. Oh, that's nasty. Next to Danahi, there we go. Just kind of weird, you know, you'll draw all the lands, but you also mill them all with Stitcher's Supplier. I just find that very interesting. Seems good. Get that gone. Get to fuck. Does Blood Sun. Uh, what's it do? Oh, okay, who cares? I mean, Castle Lockwood cares, but that's about it. I uh, played so... Dragon Skull Summit and then. Or that. Doesn't really matter what one. And then uh, Pyro, right? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I think we play the Dread Horde. Wait, wait, it wasn't Ben, wasn't Ben first. Dress. Uh, I think Dress in his hand more seems good. Then we can keep up the village rights just in case. Cool, seems fine. Huh. Sick. Oh, that's so good. It's a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Yeah. And then we get to duress him again, which is fucking fantastic. It's lovely. Oof. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even need the thought seizes. Thought seize never heard of her. <laughs> Bye, Byron. Are hardly when you're. <laughs> <laughs> I might just hard justify in the deck list that thought sees is bad because it deals too damage to you. <laughs> oh, sick! Just cope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you village rights that fucker. I do indeed. I find it weird that it normally just doesn't let you do that. Right, epic. Well, it guarantees L Loris is coming out fairly soon. That is true. Right, let's say uh, I get something. <sighs> I mean, we've got the mana to play something. What do you mean? If we sack the Dreadhorde. Yeah. We don't I... have spells to cast. Yeah, I'm kind of fine with it, honestly. I just want more cards. Oh, uh, stick down Priest, yeah? yeah? Amazing. Yeah. Feels cool. Yeah. Ugh. Is this how Keanu Reeves feels all the time? It is. He's just wild. Right. Yeah, just cool. Right, so how the fuck do we get rid of that Teferi? That's a great question. Um, and I think the answer is we don't get rid of it just yet. <laughs> um, I think we... Wait. Well, we can Mana Triton first. How much mana is in bin? Uh, an amount. So we can Mana Triton and play, so play a land into Croxa. Uh, wait, we'll play, play the Blood Crypt and wait, we'll see if we can play the Croxa. Yeah, we can. Yeah. There we go. Absolutely can. No, keep the Fae in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. There we go. Literally yeah. everything, but it's fine. It's okay. We get Croxa. It normally doesn't let you play Croxa and then play... Uh, like It just doesn't give you a chance to respond to your own thing at this point. You have to full control it. Uh... 
I pass in case he tries to bounce crocs or with the fairy, and I just go, ha, priest. Makes sense. Okay. You do be drawn card. Alright, that's vaguely fine. Vaguely fine-ish. So what we want, really, is another guy to play. Uh, oh God. There's a lot of things that are really good for us. Oh, Jurass is one of them. them. Oh, come on, let it go through. Because we can theoretically uh, out his entire board here. Uh, does this out his board? Oh, oh yes, Gideon's <laughs> gone. Gideon. Uh, right, so... Um, we just swing the two of these in it to fair. If he blocks both into Crocs, uh, uh, so be it. We tra trade Crocs for the both of them. Okay. Is this a remix of this? It's like a faster version. I like how we dumped that fair Yeah, I totally forgot that that happened. This epic value. It's fine. Uh, how far are we, are we from playing Crocs again? Um, a little while. Uh, just, um, so we could add that. Oh, I was going to say you just draw I'm just a card. Gonna, I'm but... just going to lure us. Yeah, okay. Lure us is probably good. What's in grave? Lure us will get us back uh, crocs are. the <laughs> other Crocs, I guess. Oh! The, the, same, the same Crocs, are. no? Yeah, same Crocs. Are. What the fuck is that? Uh, turn target creature, get an emblem. Right. It's not the biggest of issues currently. And we get to. Right, so you go Luris get Croxa. I think we want to swing first with Mire Triton. Because we're going to sack this and Croxa. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Surely the fairy is the bigger issue? Yeah. Hopefully his hand's just a land. I really hope so. Oh, uh, right, so we'll play Croxa. Give me full control. Wait. There we go, fuck. That was close. It feels nice being able to actually get Meyer Triton back next turn. Mm. Because uh, chances <coughs> are that probably... Oh, that's actually not bad, just... Yeah, we can just find that. This makes our board... Wait, 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 wait. Does this let us play Crocs, though? Oh, sorry, I thought it... No, I mean... We've only got four in grave. Okay. Our board's becoming harder and harder for me to deal with. Absolutely. Especially seeing as the stuff just bounces, and we have, like, draw power and, um, you know, hunters of mana to just dump shit. All we can do now is slow us down. Oof. That slows us down a lot. Yeah. That not so much. Draw a card, then untap to. Oh, very nice. Right, so we go with that, and then we can play Fame. Um, yeah, I mean, just put it on. Really yeah. spe doesn't especially matter. Um, no, we'll pop one of these. What should we second? I think Priest in the Elemental. That having four attack is really ha helpful. Uh, I think we just draw a card off the castle. Uh, okay. Okay. Works. Uh, and then we kill the Teferi. About fucking time. I know. God, that took so long out. Dead, yeah. He got a lot of value off that. Cards in grave. Five. Five. Right. One more in grave and we can play Croxa. Kill our shit out of your peril, dude. <clears throat> Rafa God. Okay. Crocs of time. Do I uh, keep this duress because we're going to hit it with um, yeah. Dread Horde? So, uh, Priest. Uh, a priest, a pyromancer. Or... Can't bring. Oh, wait. wait. You can't bring back the Lurus. Um, and my, I guess we need to hit the other pyromancer. 
sadly. Shame. Right, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't have like direct removal for this. Okay, now Jace, swing him out. He gets his emblem. Oof. What does it do? Uh, the first spell we play each turn gets countered. Wow. It's huge, but he does appear to just be dead. Yeah, he does kind of just appear that, doesn't he? Well, he might down ticket the bounce across. So. Well, then he doesn't get his emblem. That's true. Fuck him. Oh, wow, he uh, just opted to lose the game. Sure seems that way. Uh, so, swing in. Do I want to claim something back first? No. Then we get to duress. <laughs> <laughs> this is especially good. Oh my god, this gets rid of both his ha <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, that's really funny. That's really funny. Just priest. Um, so, draw a card off... Uh, yeah, good point, good point. Um, undo Z. Oh, oh the yeah, yeah. whatever. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait! Uh, use um, claim, uh, then fame, and then give it haste and just sack and kill him. Right. <clears throat> it's just that easy. <laughs> that was disgusting! He had everything. <laughs> he had a planeswalker set up that he was defending really, really fucking well. He had Jace Emblem. He was countering the first spell we had every turn. And you know what? It didn't fucking matter. He's still just dead. <laughs> We're also playing Duress and not Thoughtseize. You should. And it's worked really well. Uh, so I'm still on the fence about shaving it. Yeah, this is amazing. And we get to go yeah, first. Yeah, this is gas. Right, well, Jordan might have seeded the idea in me. Seeded the idea? Sam! Sam! Christy would uh. hate it if you kept a moustache. Right, so... Hmm... That might be me. Do we go Pyromancer here? We can claim a Pyromancer at the bin. Uh, yeah, do it. Uh, and then... So I'm just gonna tap this in then and do that. Yeah! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Shame me! I think we... That's bad. No, There's not we just go back with claim, it's fine. Uh, Maybe we block. I'm thinking that. We'll get to melt, we'll get to melt. Yeah. Schnoish. Is it two or what? Three? Oof, no bad. Every, every Lands every time. Every fucking time. Okay, so I guess we play... Oh, so we can Croxa and then Claim. Yeah. Then get Pyromancer back, or Croxa uh, again? I think, I think we get Pyromancer back. Well, you're getting ready to crack a beer and start belting whatever it is he'll be listens to. Either that, you're an extra from Top Gun. Right, no blocks. That's fine. Take one. Man, it is how many turns into the, the game and he's not got another f one in bin. That's insane. What is this man's hand? Yeah, we're on top of this shit. On top, non fucking stop. What's that? Um, it taps and does one damage. And whenever you do something, untap it? Yeah, whenever you cast any sort of source. It's pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, seems decent. But we can just <laughs> make yeah. an unoutable guy for him. <laughs> Suppose we can. Would you like to just win the game, Sam? Because I feel like I would. I think if I was this guy, I would currently be committing suicide. I mean, yeah, I think it's a sensible option regardless, to be honest. Because how do you out big guys aside from like three shock? Like what are you doing? You're not going to kill me in this turn. And then this just starts plowing damage into your face. Um, 
just so we can codify that, because like we're saying some strong words here, and I think that we should oh, contextualize it. Gay for Gre- Gay for Grexus does not condone suicide unless you're a mono red player. <laughs> oh, here you've not seen this. I made a new um, a new emoji. It's uh, just better dead than red. Ah, all right, okay. So, not only can we like push some hate onto mono red players. But you can draw in people looking to sub to get emotes that just really hate commies. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, sure. So I guess I swing in the crocs, alright? And then play this. Yeah. I mean, this does so much damage. Like, does he block any of it or, or what? Like. I think that's Vice Geno Pyromancer, I'm glad to see that go. Now, is he a Chad and block- right, I thought he was going to block this in. Oh, this is trample, shit. Fat man, so long as you don't exclusively play Mono Red, it's fine. Uh, if you do though, me and you are going to have words, mate. Right, I guess I need to play the Mario Triton, right? Well, we're getting two life off this, that's not bad. And then, if he attacks him with this, it dies, so it's like, it's kind of whatever. Okay, well I guess we just tap that in and oh, I should probably got the Lurus, but whatever, that's what it is. Whenever a source deals Oh my god. Oh my god. Owie. Uh-huh. Ah oh, shit, I forgot I'd done that. Guess we take six. Uh, the answer, Magic Fat Man, is drilling lobotomites, and they do exist. <laughs> I promise. Does he block the Bone Crusher in? He does, and that takes care of that. And then, I guess we do just play the new Croxa. Yeah, why not? Three, four, five, okay. Do some damage to him. Get a new body out. Oh, it does do more damage to him as well. Mm -hmm. Forgot about that. You don't have nothing to discard. I do want to play this priest, but it's way too. It just dies to removal, right? Well, it doesn't die. Dies to removal. Play it. We're on five life, man. I don't fucking care. Play it. <sighs> fucking hell! All right, Jesus. Oh shit. Okay, it doesn't have haste, that's okay. So does he swing in with incinerator knowing we need to block the crocs in? Probably does, right? Maybe. Maybe he just goes, uh, he's gonna swing the crocs the next turn. He swings the crocs at every turn. This is ve- oh my god. Oh fuck. Wait a minute. This does get this crocs though. Hmm. It does, and we can sack before the legendary roll comes in. So we swing in, right? Uh, is claim instant? No. Then no. We don't swing in. In fact, maybe we do. Man, I'm confused. Um. I, I mean, we can we can do a play with like. Bringing the other crocs back and doing free to them and then sacking both and doing two. Nah, that's shit. Um, do we do we just get Lurus back and hold? You know, see if we swing both in, right? Yeah. And he just lets it go through. We run that time to make this. That's right, okay, so we swing both in. Yeah. I think. What if he just blocks Chandra's incinerator and the priest? That's okay, because then he's not blocking this. He might just take the 9 from this, because he knows he'll kill us on the swing back, but then we just claim, and that'll be it. Okay, sure. I think this is our only way, just hope that he doesn't block this croc. It's so. wild, but I like it. Oh shit, now he has. Oh wait, no, he still doesn't have to. Not necessarily. Hmm, what if he hmm, just blocks hmm, crocs hmm, and hmm, then 1-1 hmm. or 0-3 though? Oh yeah. Oh no, because... Hmm. 
Well, yeah, what if he just jumps it? I don't know. <laughs> he do be thinking, though. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Oh, man. I was right! I, I was like, fuck, it's the only way out! It feels good to be this fucking ignorant. <laughs> we gotta go first again. Sick! OP. This We've is so good. in our opening hand. Duress, my Triton. <laughs> we take this, right? What can he take out of our hand that we care about? So we take this? Yeah. Hmm. That's the thing that makes us discarding good. Look at it. Look I guess, it yeah, yeah, I suppose. I'd agree with you, Magic Fat Man. In fact, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know man, he's gonna be shitting his fucking riches right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm cheating! <laughs> <laughs> Here, he took literally the thing that I could not give less of a shit about. Yep. Uh, did we just fire at Crocs at him? Why not? Why in- Ah man, it's, it's, it's just the delay magic, fat man. That's what it is. We both made the same call, and both of us made the right call. Got rid of our tiny bones. Dun, dun, dun. You smart, you loyal. It's a shame that you're playing more red. <laughs> I feel for you, man. It's tiny oh, bones. That's why he took the shot, okay. Um, I want to say Maya Triton. No, wait, no, Dreadful Darkness. Fucking definitely yeah, this. Fucking shock, but... <laughs> Start reusing duresses and shocks, don't mind if I do. End fucking sanity. If an opponent discarded, you draw a card and lose one, right. Ooh. Sounds to me like, ah, help, I'm dying quickly. <laughs> what do I take here? <coughs> uh, Mar Triton. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because you can go like Crocs a village rates if we get a land, and that'll be really sick. That will be really sick. So now he gets the Tiny Bones thing. Here, Tiny Bones is real, man. Yeah, Tiny Bones is some, some sick shit. Hmm. <laughs> Um, Swing Dread Horde Shock Tiny Bones. I feel like going for his like hand. Croxa. We can I, do all of these things. We could do Crocs. Uh, uh, none of these kill this. Like, so Tiny Bones is his hand, you have to understand. Okay, so do we abrade the Tiny Bones then? We can do that. But we could also just Shock and yeah. Crocs. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, fair. Yeah, fuck it, you're right. The fact that the card's good outside being an okay commander makes me genuine. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm agreed. Tiny Bones is cool as fuck. It's why I really don't want our opponent to have it on his board. Because <laughs> our opponent doesn't get to have cool things. It's just the way the world works. It's just the way the news goes. That is just the way the news inexplicably went. Oh, thanks for the follow, Wrath197. <laughs> Big appreciate. Thanks, bro. So he got rid of um, Hypnotic Spectre. Correct. This looks more like a dragon than a spectre to me, if I'm being honest. What's with his fucking giant feet? It's a mad nightmare creature. Pure feet turbo. All right. Uh, here, this is so good, right? So we just foot nightmare. So we just duress and then duress again. Yeah. Let's just beat him at his own fucking game, the bastard. Oh. 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 That's gonna feel a wee bit of shite. <laughs> And you know it's going to feel even worse for him. Oh, oh my. Uh, right, so he's, he's going to like... Plays Playcrafter, and then uh, when the end is about for you, sacrifice a creature, each player who can't discard his card. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah, but we can go um, we can go Village Rights on Dread Horde, <clears throat> draw two cards, and then discard one. I guess. Yeah, if it's going to die it's, anyway. It's just yeah. swapping one from one from hand. Except we get to choose one of two. Information, innit? So we do it now. E. Yeah. 
Zolio so much fun in this game, and he's not allowed any of it. <laughs> Um, we want that swamp so we can get Loris. Yeah. Um, I think... I kind of like a braid, but Stitch's Supply is amazing because we're about to get Loris. Yeah. Okay, get rid of a braid. I hate to, but... Hmm. Oh, okay. So um, take Loris. Yeah. Juicy. If we get a red land, this starts putting in a lot of work. Mm -hmm. If we get a white land, that dire tactics. Mm. I know. Ideally, what we want Delicious. is a uh, sacred foundry. We want to hit that fucking oh play crafter. He hits out his own hand. <laughs> Sees the Lurus, doesn't play around it. This feels bad for him. It uh, really does. Dire tactics. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. This deck is so good, man! How does he outplay this? His deck just can't respond now! <laughs> the engine's fucking clogged! The wheels are jammed! Epic! Draws a land. It wouldn't be me, I wouldn't draw a land. Playing him his own game. No less. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so Lurus, right? Do we have a uh, mm. uh, if we No, we don't have mana. Um, I think we just call Stitchers. Yeah. Stitchers. Stitchy boy. I mean, do Stitchers and Lurus. That makes sense. Yeah, those are a series of plays that work well together. Unless he's got something that kills a little board, but... But then he's gone. No, it's just whatever this does. When it deals damage, that player discards a card at random. Okay. It's okay. We're merciful. Crocs will let you choose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Lurus is really going to put in the work. Nah, not, not big taste. This, this deck is in bad taste. <laughs> and like, really, really bad taste. There's like some... <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Takes two damage. <laughs> this Guys. is so funny. Like we literally like don't have the mana where that even slightly matters. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice hand, bro. I'll catch you later. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Hearthstone thing definitely makes sense. Oh fuck, right, okay, there's a lot to unpack here, right, so Tome gives him a turn to play, but uh, I think I managed to hit one of these out of my hand, out of his hand. Tor this isn't useful to way later on, so I think I just hit Tome currently. So he plays a land, I play that, and passes, cool. Oh, perfect, okay, so. Um... So we play Dreadhold Arcanist, then next turn I go Croxa Jurass. I go Croxa Jurass Jurass next turn. Oh my god! So Jurass. Um. So I think. So. Nice, nice. You get next. So I need to. Hit this out of his hand, hit the Languish out of his hand. Yeah, I mean, he's ditching three anyway. So, my god, this is, this is insane. This is insane. This hand is insane. Hit three cards out of your opponent's hand. That's crazy. And then I'll just take the Languish. And then whatever he searches with, I'll just take out his hand again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So hopefully he doesn't take a creep yet. There we go. There we go. He knows. He knows. That, this game right here was per perfection. This is, that was insane. He just didn't have anything. 
it, it, like, like your turn two play gone. Uh, your removal gone. Your end game gone. Whatever you get gone. So you made it to the end of the video. Thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, maybe give the video a little like. If you want to see more things like this, then again, you can also subscribe. And if you want to keep up to date with the rest of the things we're doing, you can follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you have anything to say, just leave them in the comments. I will reply and I read all of them. So again, thanks for watching the video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.